one of the, the experiences I had that really brought that to home was a very complicated um, accounts receivable factoring fraud, and I was the expert witness, uh, in, uh, it was in Philadelphia, and I was on the stand for two and a half days. And the, the defense attorney, because I was testifying for the prosecution because I was with the FBI at that time, the defense attorney just took my lengthy spreadsheet and started just throwing numbers out and asking me about relationships. If you take the number on column three, you know, page two and multiply it by the inverse relationship of the number on page six, I didn't even understand what he was saying. And as I looked at the jury, once I finally figured it out and tried to respond, I could tell that they, it, was, it was beyond them. And, and I understand that completely. And they ended up finding that person not guilty, one of the few times that that happened in my career. And afterwards, as we're walking out of the jury, or out of the courtroom, one, several of the jurors came up to us and myself and the assistant United States attorney said, can we ask you a question? And the response was, well, it depends. We're, we really are not supposed to have contact with you. However, you know, it depends on what your question is. And the question was, why did you let the defense pick the jury? And we explained, or the assistant United States attorney explained to them that that wasn't the case, that it was a give and take, and that, that they, they were selected by both sides. Then the next statement by this one individual, there were two or three of them there, was, you know, I knew that guy was guilty. I knew. However, the judge says if you have any reasonable doubt, you have to find them not guilty. We polled ourselves in the highest level of education of anybody on this jury was 12th grade. We did not understand what they did. How can you not have reasonable doubt if you don't understand what they did? And that was a great lesson for me that, you know, I need to make sure that, you know, because Experts, no matter what area they're in, they can, they can get so out there in their interpretations and their opinions and what they've done to come to their conclusions and their opinions that they can, they can lose a person that doesn't have the same background.